somebody that encountered life and difficulties, it was not scared by them. Somebody that found divisions and very strong entrenched enmities and was not scared of them. In 2003, after the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement in Liberia, everyone expected the women to go back home and start taking care of children. And we were back in the streets. And then people would come to us and say, what do you want again? <laughs> We've given you peace. And the answer was no. There's a comprehensive peace agreement from Congo to Burundi to Rwanda to other places. These women continue because they know this is not a day's job. Everything that she did and how she just formed everything on her own, they made such um, like momentum in the country that they were really respected internationally. Right. The peace talks in Ghana. It's just, it's so amazing that one woman with help of other people in her community did so much. Lima just, you know, gives off this energy. It's very positive, very optimistic, and kind of had to have that in, in the midst of so much violence and evil and destruction in Liberia where, you know, she was in. In Liberia, there's a community where a group of donors and partners went and they saw these women walk from one village to the other to fetch water. And they decided, oh my God, these poor women walking for hours to get drinking water without consultation, without local import. They built a hand pump in the middle of the village. Several months later, almost all of the women in the village have turned to alcoholics. Why? Well, a lot of us live in domestic violence situation. A lot of us have husbands who cheat. A lot of us have children who have lost their way. When we woke up in the morning and took our water pots, we shared our problems one way and found solution another way. You put a hand pump here. We have nowhere to share our problem we have no way of engaging, so we just drown our sorrows in alcohol. Lima, she came to the U.S. and she got her master's degree on peace and conflict transformation from EMU, from the university here. So I, I, to, I talked with my students, I said that in the future you could also do something to make difference. I'm aspiring to be in political risk analytics and there's two fragments of that. I mean, you have the very international relations portion, you also have the finance portion. Part of that work is assessing what the overall risk is to conflict areas, and I think this is a good insight for understanding how conflict situations develop, how they're, how they're resolved, and, and how, in some cases, they're not resolved. It's some of the, the, the people on the ground that affect this are people like Leyma Bowie. 